Hey everybody, Brooke the Builder here. I have a Lego related video for you that involves 3D printing. So if you're into that, stick around for the mediocreness. So you've probably seen some of my videos and shorts on 3D printing. I have a 3D printer, but I know a lot of people don't, and I don't have a resin printer. I've always wanted to have resin models, and I don't have any printer that can print metal. I found a website that's really cool, and it's called JLC3DP. I'm going to link it down below the website that I used, because it's pretty cool. Like I actually tested it out. So I'm going to show you guys like the whole process. I was kind of like, oh, is this actually going to be good? I really wanted to select something that I couldn't print. So I cannot print resin and I can't print metal. That would be cool, but I can't. So um, if you don't have a 3D printer and you've maybe always wanted to get something 3D printed, the site is pretty cool. Like all you have to do is find a file and there's a ton of free ones online. I use Prusa Prints, but you can use Thingiverse, Cults 3D. There's quite a few websites that you can find files. And all you do is drop them in on the website and then select what material you want it in. And I like it because it actually gives you like, when you put your mouse cursor over it, it tells you like, hey, this is what this would be used for. This, this, and this. So yeah, I wanted to get metal and I wanted to get resin because I don't have those kind of printers. So, so what I really liked when you drop your file in and you're selecting everything, it'll let you know if it's possible. Like it'll actually let you know, like, no, this is not gonna work like ahead of time. And it lets you know the prices like right away. I was printed something in metal and it was like, whoa, that's way too expensive. And like metal is stainless steel. So it's like, okay, let's do resin instead. This is reasonably priced. Uh, I can do PLA, but I could already do that, but if you're actually looking to do it yourself, it's nice to be able to see what you what's possible and what's not. And then you can submit it. You basically get a quote, so you don't have to like, you know, pay right away. You just get a quote, which is kind of nice. And then it's cool because actually one of the pieces that I put into there that I wanted it in metal, so I wasn't sure if it would work. And it they did email me being like, "Hey, everything's been approved, just this one piece, it might not print right. Do you still want to print it? Do you want to take the risk? And I, I took the risk because it was like $7. So I was like, yeah, let's check it out. Um, so let's see how that turned out. We're going to check like everything in the box. So we're going to open the box, check it out. So let's get to it. Okay, so the box came in the mail from the 3D printing company there. So let's open it together, check it out. Ooh, nice little blue box here. Anyway. Okay, we got the blue box. Let's cut open the tape. I thought it might be bigger, but I also don't know the dimensions, so... Let's see. Ooh, bubble wrap. Okay. Oh, oh, sanding paper. Okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to sand stuff. Ooh, interesting. Just a ton of bubble paper, nothing in it. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is heavy. Okay, this looks like a nice 3D printed piece. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so, like, it is so heavy. I love that. Wow. And this is resin, so I got them to do that because I don't have a resin printer, so I can see why they maybe got sandpaper just to sand off a little bit of it, but it's cool that they include that. So this is gonna be holding our lightsaber. Okay, oh, this is a lightsaber. Okay. I wasn't sure what color they would print this in. I was really hoping it would be a color, but I can always paint it. Oh, that is nice. Resin is so nice. I wish I had a resin printer. So this is nice that you can like get it done if you don't have it. So it's just the normal white. I think they said they would choose the color for you. So, oh, and there's the bottom piece that comes with it. So they printed both there. Nice. Hopefully, it might not fit in here because it's resin, you know. But I don't want to break it. 
but technically, yeah, I can just go like that and it'll hold it a little heavy, top heavy, but we'll get the blade in there and see. Very nice though. I like how it feels. It's very smooth. And then I think we just put the blade in there. So let's check that out. So I got this to be in green. That was one of the colors. So, oh, this might not work then because it is not... Yep, this won't work. <laughs> they didn't print it right. Um, the file called for this to be... I mean, I can glue it, I guess. But the whole point of it was to go back into the blade. So they didn't print it like that. So I might have to, I might have to print that myself. So it's good to know. Good to know, though. See? But I think I'd have to glue this together... I don't even think it'll work, so I might have to 3D print myself, because, oh, okay, okay, so that one can go in, I can glue this one, it sucks that they're not hollow, <laughs> that's the whole point, but, you know, it's a learning curve, but it's very nice, like, material, this is like, this does not even feel like it's 3D printed, so, I do like that, I just wish it was, was hollow, for, to go into this, so. But I guess I'm going to get 3D printing myself. <laughs> so, failure on that one. Let's see what else we got. Ooh, this is the metal. Okay, this is what I was very, very excited about. Okay, this is cool. Okay, okay. So, I thought it would be shinier. Okay. Okay, so this is supposed to be metal. And I will say it's heavy, but... I thought it would be like stainless steel, like shiny, shiny. That was like the whole point of it. So I'm surprised that it's like not like it's fine, but I thought it'd be shiny. I can always paint it, but I thought it'd be shiny. <laughs> this one looks pretty good though. We got the little Lego thing. And hopefully I can, like, it won't break, but hopefully I can put that on my keyboard. We're going to have to test that out and see if I can. I do like how this looks. I thought they'd be a little shinier, but they are, like, this is heavy. This is a block. <laughs> Definitely metal. So uh, let's, let's put the coin in here, though. I do want to do that. Okay, so there's, like, an overview of the hall. And then I have my VIP space coin. I just want to see if it fits. Ooh, oh, okay, it's a perfect fit. It does, and it actually stays in there. Oh, and it's metal, so it's kind of magnetic. <laughs> Just a little, little bit. But I think this would be a great piece. Like, if you want this yourself, and you don't have a 3D printer, like, or a metal printer, I don't have anything that can print metal. Like, this is heavy. This has to be, like, three pounds. <laughs> so that is a very nice display if you have the coins. Just like that, because it's heavy, so it won't fall over. And price for that was worth it. This, I do like this. It's in resin, so it's very smooth. Like, I can sand it a little bit. I see it's definitely needing a little bit of sanding. But I really thought this would fit in it. I'm kind of scared to push it down, but maybe it's because I got it in resin and not... I really didn't want to order PLA because I can, PL, I can print PLA, you know? I just don't want to break it. <laughs> but... It can, it can sit like this, but I want to make sure this doesn't go to waste though. So I think I'm going to glue those three together and just see how it looks at least. Because I do like the color. That's a cool color. And then, yeah, I got to go put this on my keyboard. I do like how that turned out. Considering it's like stainless steel, metal, whichever. Definitely like it. So let's go glue these three. So that is what I use for my adhesive. I put the three parts together. I realized this doesn't really have like a, a top, like a little dome piece, which would be nice for a lightsaber, you know, but sticking together. So I'm gonna give it a few, like an hour just in case, just to make sure it's together. And then I'll put it in the lightsaber hilt. Okay, so I'm gonna 3D print all three of the blades, like how I wanted them to look. Um, and I only have like kind of like a cool green color. Um, so we're going to try that out. 
Uh, let's see if this works in vase mode. I probably should have clarified that I wanted vase mode and I don't think you can do that with a resin, so. But we'll test out both blades. So, learning curve. Okay, so this is kind of what I was looking for in vase mode, just like completely hollow. And then I made the end full just because I put the other two together. It's open at the end and now I have to put that one inside. So yeah, that is what I was looking for. So, and then it can like collapse and then go like that. So that's what I wanted. So let's go put that in the blade. I want to see if it works. Okay, so this, it's finally glued together and it, I kind of glued it a little crooked, but it does work. It goes into the, the lightsaber. Just like that. Okay, so that does work and it kind of collapses in by one because that's what it was made for. But I like it like 100% and like if I put it on here, it's way too heavy. Like it, it's gonna like go like that, which doesn't look bad. If I was to paint, paint this in chrome and then have like this same color with the like light green blade, it's kind of cool. But I did make a mistake when I printed this because it was supposed to be supposed to be like this. I just 3D printed this right now, as you saw before, and it like collapses just like that. So then, you know, but it's not tough like this. This I could probably like break this in just by going like that <laughs> or this. I cannot. So like I do like this a lot. This is strong. This is really strong. If I was to 3D print this myself, the blade, it would be like it'd be like tougher than this, but this is smooth. This is really really like sturdy, which I like. But let's just put this one in it. I want to see if this actually works, if it can, you know, do it. Oh, nice. It does. Okay. Okay, so it fits combining plastic with resin. Oh, and it's collapsible too. Okay, I like that. <laughs> so um, if I was to do this again, I guess I would do this still in resin. I would do this in plastic, maybe not PLA, but maybe something stronger, um, like maybe ABS or something along those lines, or actually PET G might be perfect. But, like, it's not a waste because I did that. But if you guys were looking to 3D print this on that website too, I think resin's the way to go for this. Maybe paint it in chrome. I'm going to try and find some chrome paint uh, one day. And then paint this in the actual plastic. And, or print this in actual plastic on that website. It's kind of cool. Just like that. But, if I, uh... <laughs> If I maybe wanted to have a duel, this one would be the way to go, because this one is strong. So, I definitely do like that for sure. Okay, now that we've opened everything, we got to check it all out. I would say my favorite piece that came from that order was probably this one. Like, the one for the VIP coin. It is heavy. It's really cool. I thought it'd be a bit shinier, but... I'm actually like growing to like it and it's very heavy. So for the price of that, it was actually kind of sweet. I will say that's my favorite. And I do like the lightsaber hilt. Like I really do. It twists on. It's really good. I made the mistake of printing the blade. Not the mistake of printing it in resin, but I realized resin can't hollow out. It can't do what PLA can do in vase mode. Um, so before you put a file in there, even if it is approved, um, I realize that point. It's like, oh, this is not going to turn out how I wanted it to. So mistakes can be made for sure. I would really like look at the description of the files. If you do try this yourself, like I even made a mistake and I have a 3D printer. I don't have a resin printer though, so that's kind of why I made that mistake. But I did like the blade, like don't get me wrong. And like gluing it together, like this thing is tough. So, like, I printed it, you guys saw earlier in, uh, like, PLA, which, you know, if I went like this, you know, it'd feel like 
somebody flicked me. If I hit you with this, it's gonna like dent your head. So it's still very cool. It's just the other one can actually be collapsible where this one is not. So, you know, it still works. It's just, I realized I made that mistake after the fact. Even it, it, it was approved because it's clearly possible to print it like that. So um, I'm definitely going to order something again. I really, really want to order like, I think a Darth Vader bust in resin. I've always wanted this one uh, file on Prusa prints. So I think I'm gonna do that in resin in black. And they do have an Iron Man helmet already like on their website. It's just a little expensive. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna have to order again, but I will make sure to link that below the, the website that I used. If you guys ever wanna try this out, you don't wanna buy a 3D printer. You don't want to deal with learning all the software stuff and you actually just want to like print something kind of cool. I think it was actually a good website to use. And I think the only thing that I wish that their website had was more colors. Like there are barely any variety of colors. And the one thing that I thought is that they could do multicolor prints because I don't have that on my printer. I don't have that extension on there. So that would have been sweet. I would probably order way more things if they had a multicolor option and then also more colors available. That would be cool because you could select different colors. Like for the lightsaber, I really wanted to do red. <laughs> I could only find like a lime green resin. So that was kind of a bummer. That would be my only thing that would be, you know, that would be my only gripe is like, give me more colors. And if you could do like multicolor prints, because I can't do that. So, because multicolor prints are so many like files I've seen that would look so good in different colors, um, which like with the lightsaber blade, I printed it in white. It would have been cool to get this in like a silver or a chrome. That would have been the way to go. And it's perfectly fine if you're good at painting. Like it's very easy to paint objects like this. Uh, I'm just not really good at painting it, painting like multicolor things in one print. Printing this one color is easy, but like if I wanted to print maybe let's say like the Iron Man helmet, if I get that Iron Man helmet that's on that website, it would probably come in one color and then I'd have to paint it. I'm just not like a really good painter. <laughs> so that that's probably the only like thing that I think they could work on on their website, but it's a great website for businesses if you need to print a bunch of pieces all at once. And I think it's great for just like any of us who are enjoying a hobby or maybe don't want to spend the money on a 3D printer, but want to enjoy that hobby as well, where you can just get that object, which is kind of fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.